So, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's uh, 7.01. It's Friday, which can only mean clearly one thing. You are watching the East Coast College 2020 Student of the Year Award. So a great welcome to everyone this evening. Uh, this is the fifth uh, award ceremony we've done this week. We love celebrating East Coast College. We've celebrated everything. We've celebrated our access students. We've celebrated our adult learners. We've celebrated our apprentices. We're celebrating our higher education students. We're celebrating all of our students who've achieved some amazing grades at our sixth form college in Lowestoft. But tonight it is the turn of our further education students. And we're delighted that you are watching this evening. Um, I think it's important to celebrate all of the time, but particularly in these troubled times that we've just been through. I think for two reasons. One, uh, I think the world needs some good news. But secondly, actually, it's really important that we celebrate your achievements because through this crisis, I think the young people have been uh, really led the way in terms of your resilience, uh, your determination, your creativity, and the, the courage that you've shown. And to achieve under these circumstances makes you very, very special indeed. Um, so I hope uh, in the future, this crisis provides you all with some amazing opportunities to really go out and make your mark on our world because uh, the world needs you right now. So, um, just like to take a very quick opportunity to thank all of our amazing teachers at East Coast College. They've stuck with us and stuck with you through thick and thin this year. They've adapted their teaching really fast, uh, moved into our digital online environments and worked with you to make sure that you've achieved throughout the year. And so a huge thank you to any of those who are watching this evening. I'm sure you, on behalf of students, you want to pass on your thanks too. Uh, and, and a quick thanks, I think, because many of you might be watching this evening with parents or brothers and sisters. Uh, and if you've got time, I think just turn to them and say thank you as well, because I know that they've uh, work, walked this particular journey with you. They've uh, picked you up and dropped you off to college in all weathers. They've helped you sometimes with your work or supported you when you've had your ups and downs. So don't forget to say thank you to your amazing families as well. Now, we know that when you come to East Coast College, it doesn't matter what part of the college you come to, uh, we like to commit that we're going to do three things with you. Firstly, we're going to make sure that when you leave, you're going to leave with the skills and qualifications that you need. Second, we're going to make sure that while you're with us, you're going to secure a really positive and high quality progression so that you can go on to something better. And third, we're going to make sure while you're with us, you're going to develop your sense of well-being, your, your personal development, your character, uh, to make you more resilient to face the world in front of you. And tonight, these awards celebrate all of those three fine things. So um, without further ado, I'm going to move us on. But uh, I'd just like to say well done to all the people who've been nominated this evening. Well done to all of our students who've achieved at East Coast College this year. Um, you've done absolutely amazing. We're very, very proud of you indeed. And particularly well done to any of the winners this evening. Now, tomorrow, all of the winners from all week are going to go through to our Champion of Champions Student of the Year, uh, which will be announced live on Facebook tomorrow night, that's Saturday at 7 p.m. So tune in to see if you are the overall uh, winner this year. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you have a brilliant evening this evening. So I'll now hand over to our hostess with the mostess, our tame, very own tame American assistant principal, Holly Chase. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart, for that warm welcome. Yes, it is so exciting to see so many people here tonight and, um, and congratulations to all the people who were nominated and especially those um, who have won these special awards this evening. So the first award I'd like to um, announce is the Outstanding Progression in Maths. So this student has progressed tremendously since she joined East Coast College last year. When she started her entry-level ESOL course, she had just arrived in England and spoke no English at all. Over the next three years, she excelled as a student, working her way through all the ESOL levels, as well as maths functional skills. And this year, she fulfilled her dream and attended GCSE Maths. She has always said that she loves maths and would love to teach it one day. Her passion for maths has been absolutely contagious, and she's helped motivate her fellow classmates when they struggle to understand. Her attendance has been 100% and she has excelled in the, re the remote learning classes since lockdown. She's an inspiration to all learners who want to improve their maths. And we look forward to seeing her progress onto a high level course and ultimately apply for university. 
The winner for Outstanding Progression in Math is Diamante Medalita, nominated by Mike <laughs> So the next one is Outstanding Progression in English. This student first came to college years ago when she couldn't speak any English. She joined the ESOL adult course and she completed level two. Last September, she decided she'd like to carry on studying and she enrolled in GCSE English and Math. It's been a pleasure to teach her this year, her tutors say, and she is always keen to learn and to improve. She has managed to balance her home life with college which sometimes means staying up very late as she has children at home that she's been helping with her own schoolwork during lockdown. During this difficult period, she did not hesitate to ask for help when she needed it. And she's very responsive to feedback and always keen to improve the quality of her work. Her motivation, sense of humor and willingness to learn was an inspirational example for others in the group who got to know and admire her courage and resilience. So the winner for Outstanding Progression in English is Maria Rowe, nominated by Anna Diaz and Mike Payne. Okay, and the next student of the year has progressed from foundation learning to level one animal care. When working at Packed Animal Sanctuary as part of his course, he always volunteers to do any work whilst others may feel a bit uncertain or shy to take part. Since moving to an online college, he has continued to excel. This student likes to be kept very busy with new challenges and trying to always gain knowledge within the sector. His attendance is 100% and he is always ready before lesson starts with his equipment and he offers this to his other class members too. He has a very dry sense of humor, which keeps us all laughing. Student of the year for animal science is Aaron Honeyman, nominated by Colin. <laughs> Okay, the next student of the year for beauty therapy is so inspirational. She is a mom of two wonderful boys and works two jobs around this full on course. This doesn't stop her from creating the most wonderful work. She puts 110% into everything she does, no matter how tired she is, she always produces works of wonder. Her creativity and motivation to be the best she can be is admiring. Lockdown has not curbed her creative flair. She has produced some stunning work remotely, something she should be very proud of. Her hard work has paid off and she's now been accepted to do a degree in fashion promotion and marketing at the Norwich University of Arts. We could not be any prouder of her efforts and wish her all the best in her next venture. Student of the, of the year for beauty therapy is Sarah Mariah, nominated by Jody Cheek and Val Thacker. <laughs> So the next student of the year for hairdressing has been nominated for her true dedication to the course this year and her excellent improvement in both skills, knowledge and confidence. She has 100% attendance and travels to Great Yarmouth campus all the way from DIS every day. She has worked extremely hard outside of college to improve her skills and uh, commercially acceptable timings in order to complete the course requirements. During distance learning, she has continued to practice her skills and completed all work set and followed all online hair tutorials, sending photographs of all her attempts and the improvements amazing. She was very quiet and lacked confidence when talking to clients and we worked on this a lot at the beginning. And now she's blossomed. In this difficult time we have faced since COVID-19, she has embraced every challenge while also working as a key worker. Student of the Year for Hairdressing is Stephanie Harrison, nom nominated by Nicola Hall and Alison Hall. <laughs> the next student, uh, for, for a student of the Year for ESOL, has come from China. She joined the ESOL Access Program on the Great Yarmouth campus in September 2018 and is just about to complete her second year with us. In that time, she's progressed from entry two to level one, which she successfully achieved just before the college went into lockdown. She has secured a place at Lowestoft Sixth Form College to study on a tailor-made program based around her excellent maths and English skills. In her time on the ESOL Access Program, she's made impressive progress, both in terms of her academic ability and personal development. When she joined us, she was quite shy and found speaking in English challenging. In contrast, 
she's now confident and able to express herself clearly speaking to both peers and tutors. What is most impressive about this student, however, is her attitude towards the study program, her peers and teacher, as well as the importance to learn and improve. She has been the most impressive student in her cohort over the past weeks of distance learning, and she has submitted every single piece of work set in a timely manner into a very high standard. She has demonstrated a level of maturity and thoughtfulness that has been impressive. So our student of the year for ESOL is Alana Zhang, nominated by Elizabeth and Anna Diaz. Okay, the student of the year for hospitality and catering. This student joined us at East Coast College as a very shy and nervous learner. However, he did come with a real passion for catering and a very clear goal of what he wanted to do and where he wanted to progress to. During his first year at college, he worked in the kitchen and his tutor could see him gaining in both skills and his own confidence, not only at being at college, but being around other people and engaging and interacting. Timekeeping, attendance and attitude towards his learning has been excellent. Both English and maths have excellent reports from their respective tutors. We are very proud of how he's managed to progress and challenge himself outside of his comfort zone, now even offering to help and guide his peers in practical lessons. This is something he should be very proud of. So the student of the year for hospitality and catering is Luke Parker, nominated by Dave Patterson and Ros Randall. So the student of the year for childcare joined East Coast College as a level two childcare student. She worked hard during this year and progressed onto the two year level three course, which she's completed this year. She's continued to maintain her focus throughout her time at college and always strives to achieve. Her academic work is outstanding as she understands the importance of wider reading to support her studies and has already begun to buy books in preparation for her progression to university. She has an amazing can-do attitude and never lets any negativity prevent her from moving forward to achieve her goals. She has secured a full-time position in a local nursery after completing her industry, industry placement there and they're supporting her to continue as she studies. We admire her drive and passion for the sector. I can honestly say, says her tutor, that she always gives 100% in the three years she's been at the college and her determination has remained consistent and her interest in the sector continues to grow. So student of the year for childcare is Caitlin Long, nominated by Kathy Abel and Sue Alger. Okay, so the student of the year for digital media has been a joy to teach over the course of his first year on the level three creative media program. His continually positive attitude, attendance and effort in all classes is wonderful to see. He has shown remarkable initiative in completing his work to the highest of standards and has been focusing on improving his learning as much as possible inside and outside of college. Having struggled in the past with his confidence, he has grown in self-assuredness and has over the course of the year given presentations to the class and has become an active and significant member of every group he has worked in. This student deserves this award, not just for developing his own abilities and knowledge, but for his attitude to and motivation for becoming a better student and more importantly, a stronger, more accomplished person. Student of the year for digital media is Jamie Brantway, nominated by Dan Snowling and Yolanda Bravery. So the student of the year for art joined level two art and design in September, 2019 after previously being homeschooled. Due to, due to missing many years of his schooling, he started the year as a nervous and quiet student, unsure of his surroundings. That didn't last long, and he quickly made friends with the group. And after submitting work for his first project, his talent and passion for art became apparent. He has achieved distinction level grades in every project this year with excellent attendance and commitment to the college and also his English and maths lessons. Since the lockdown, he has been in contact with every member of his group to check that they're all doing okay and offering them constructive feedback on their work. 
as he works quite quickly and often completes tasks before others, so he lends his time to assisting those who may be struggling to achieve. He is progressing on to level three next year and uh, in a very passionate evaluation for his final major project, stated that he couldn't have progressed to where he was without the help of the college, its staff and the other students. College has been welcoming and he has loved his year learning new tasks every day. This student has been an absolute pleasure to teach in the group and we welcome him back next year. Student of the Year for Art is Ash Boast, nominated by Maddie Moretta and Maria Robinson. So, Student of the Year for Performing Arts has been a consistently high performer in all aspects of her course, achieving a distinction star in her first year and on track to achieve a triple distinction star this year. She has secured a place at Chichester University to continue her dream of a career as a musical theatre performer. Her dedication to pursuing her career has continued outside her studies, leading her to performing for various charity events. Within college, she has shown considerable loyalty to the college and is always one of the first to volunteer for all the events, open days, photo shoots, and last year she coordinated the Performing Arts Students Entertainment for the Community Lunch held in the Eating House and sang with credible acclaim at the UOS graduation ceremony at Great Yarmouth Minster. In her two years with us, she's always been a well-liked and valuable member of the performing arts team, going above and beyond her study by helping out both her staff and peers. In a, in a nutshell, she is a kind and considerate student with fantastic talent, who alongside a dedication to her education and development is an asset to East Coast College and the performing arts team within it. Student of the Year for Performing Arts is Joanna Lee, nominated by Nick Ball and Matt Dale. Okay, so our student of the year for health and social care has now completed a two year health and social care course at level three. Despite a tricky start, she has grown from strength to strength. She has achieved distinctions in most of her assignments over the two years and successfully passed both exams this year. She has been employed alongside completing her studies. She is a professional and mature student with an excellent and positive outlook to her studies. She has applied to university and has successfully gained a place. The tutors are nominating Shannon for the, uh, nominating this person for the award as they have witnessed a transformation over time of a very anxious, shy young lady to the mature and conscientious student she has become. So student of the year for health and social care is Shannon Gill, nominated by Nicholas Stubbs and Debbie Pring. So Student of the Year for Uniform Public Services has been nominated for several reasons. Firstly, she's originally from Lithuania and came to the UK with her parents, not speaking any reasonable level of English. She settled down really quickly once joining Uniform Public Services at East Coast College on Level 2 in 2018. She enrolled onto the English language course and was successful in obtaining her GCSE. She is an absolute star pupil to teach. She is full of enthusiasm for her course, her attendance is excellent, and she has a passion to learn. She has reached grades of distinction throughout her college life and continues to work hard, always handing her work in time, and it's of the highest standards. She, the, the team have been extremely proud to have been just a small part in her education and take immense pleasure in watching her develop her personal skills. She very recently passed out as a special constable and along with um, the fellow tutor, they both attended the passing out ceremony in company with her proud parents. It takes a special person to join the police service voluntarily. She has jumped through hoops having to learn a new language and a new way of life, but she has taken it with a breeze and would certainly be more worthy should she be selected to win student of the year, which she has. So student of the year for uniform public services is Modesta Catavita, nominated by John Hall. So the student of the year for travel and tourism um, has been nominated 
as she has demonstrated enviable employability skills and has shown progression, progression through each and every day of her engagement in learning. She completed the first year of the course with good achievements, but in the second year, she's really pushed herself to achieve those high grades. She has taken pride in her work, shown great commitment to her own development, and has been a role model for other learners with her mature attitude and impeccable attendance and punctuality. She has also proved support to, she has provided support to others in the classroom and has helped to explain topics to others and has delivered some fantastical practical assessments such as a Joe Wick style workout on Zoom. She deserves this award for being an individual that has realized that reward only comes with effort and she has truly made an effort to complete her studies with the best results available. So student of the year for travel and tourism is Georgia Swatman, nominated by Amber Spearing and Debbie Foster. <laughs> student of the year for sport, health and exercise has been nominated um, this person has been a student at East Coast College for three years, having progressed from the beginning of her FE learning journey from the Level 2 sports program. She has been an asset to the college and always inspires her peers, especially through her professional coaching ability. She coaches gymnastics to a range of ages and abilities outside of the college. Alongside her natural leadership skills, she has gained college experience which has helped to improve her levels of confidence and ability in order for her to achieve her level two gymnastics coaching qualification this year, this year too, as well as her, her, her um, sports qualification. She has excelled through her college years with her grades increasing from a pass to merit and then distinctions. This has been a result of improved academic writing ability through her own personal person, perseverance and attendance in additional revision sessions. After a successful three years at the college, she has now managed to secure her place in the sports degree with East Coast College, where she will continue to thrive as a higher education student. So student of the year for sport, health and exercise is Philippa Parr, nominated by Nicola Pollard and Chris Wright. So that's, that's it from me. Now I'd like to hand over to uh, my colleague, Pam Burt. Hello, good evening everybody. So I'm going to introduce student of the year for engineering. This student is a pleasure to have in the classroom. His attendance and timekeeping are great. and He always works hard at the task in hand. When he's been set a task, he works hard to produce it to the best of his ability at all times. In the workshop, he works hard and has proven himself to be a very competent machinist at this stage in his career and takes pride in getting his work right. He's a pleasant young man who is very polite and conducts himself in a professional manner. In the workshop sessions, he's completed the turning assessment. These have been made to a high standard and within all the drawing specifications. He works hard with minimal assistance, taking pride in the work that he's producing. He's also completed all his CNC milling and turning assessments, producing well-coded programs, and he's able to edit and modify his programs. He's also completed all his work to the highest standard during the lockdown. Nominated by Kevin, Kev, Kevin Stewart and Andy Warboys, Student of the Year for Engineering is James Hall. of the year for automotive engineering. This young man has worked hard to overcome his initial anxieties about coming to college and has done really well on the course. From the first meeting the tutors could tell his desire and passion for this subject. His attendance and behaviour this year has been excellent and was, he was the first student to reach, reach 100% for vocational completion. He has bought himself his first car and his mum says all he's doing now is tinkering with it all the time. His tutor says, I'm nominating this young man for recognition for the simple fact he has battled severe anxiety in order to pursue a career I know he is passionate about. Nominated by Ian Fisher and Simon Hands, Student of the Year for Automotive Engineering is Josh Nunn. Student of the Year for Welding and Fabrication. This student 
started his welding education at East Coast College as a mature student on level two. He achieved distinctions throughout both theory and practical and progressed to level three. While studying at level three, he managed to gain work experience with the opportunity to progress to full-time employment within the industry on completion of his studies. He's always been an active student, both in terms of learning and offering support to other students. His dedication to his subject and his studies around his adult responsibilities has put tremendous pressure on him at times, but he has gained distinction throughout his final year and reaped the rewards of his hard work. Student of the Year for Welding and Fabrication, nominated by Doug Lawrence and Jason, Jason Taylor, is Darren Lowbridge. <laughs> student of the Year for Construction. This student has shown a great interest and dedication towards his Level 2 BRIC Diploma. In fact, he's one of the best students if, if not the best full-time student that they've had in the workshop. He's a very bright young man who's excellent at problem solving. He has fantastic practical skills for someone who's never laid a brick before since when he started the course. In his practical tests, he's gained distinction grades for all of them. His attitude towards his studies are fantastic and he is a well-mannered young person who has great communication skills and is a popular member of the group. He also provides great peer support to other learners within the class when they're struggling with their practical skills. The tutor says, this young man is in the top five learners I've ever taught. He's taken brick to brick rate laying really well and he's a natural when displaying his practical and theoretical skills. Nominated by Phil Carter and Steve Hogarth, student of the year for construction is William Neeson. for plumbing. This student constantly goes above and beyond what is expected of him. After starting the course later than his peers and with no experience within the industry, he's shown a real spark. He constantly steps up to the plate when coming to help his peers and nothing is too much effort for him. At first he came across as a very shy young man, lacking self-confidence in his own abilities, but with a gentle nudge he's become on leaps and bounds over the past few months. He's highly respected for his efforts, determination quali and quality of work. And by his peers, he's considered an up and coming leader of a group who encourages his classmates in a really positive way. Nominated by Paul Wakelin and Ben Cullingham, Student of the Year for Plumbing is Bailey Elvin. <laughs> Student of the Year for Foundation Studies. This student has been nominated because she has demonstrated amazing commitment to her studies through the year. She always asks for feedback and wants to know how she can improve her skills. She takes every opportunity to get involved in work experience. This has included helping with the Christmas stocking campaign, creating table decorations for St George's Theatre and finding voluntary work, voluntary work independently at Christ Church Cafe. She's been able to come her sh overcome her shy nature in class and is always determined to get involved with activities. She has a kind nature and is always supportive of her classmates. Nominated by Ryan Pickering, Student of the Year Founda for Foundation Studies, is Yasmin Thompson. <laughs> and I'd like to now hand over to my colleague, Nikki Lane. Thank you very much Pam. Good evening everybody. Um, I'm going to start off with Student of the Year for Engage and Prince's Trust. This student joined the college feeling a little bit unsure about their plans for the future and during the Prince's um, Trust programme um, their focus and aspirations really blossomed. This student developed confidence, communication and leadership skills through community projects and that included the Bradwell Community Centre. Um, and also directly from um, supporting others at the Pathways Cafe Food Bank. Our winner found a passion for gardening during work experience at the college, working alongside our estates and our gardening team. With this renewed energy, our winner was supported to apply for employment and was offered a level two apprenticeship in horticulture at the Venetian Waterways in Great Yarmouth. The project manager and head gardener have reported um, the student's success um, and the students actually even made it onto Michael Portello's Great British Railway Journey um, BBC programme in January. 
Our winner is Harry Conway. Well done, Harry. <laughs> for energy. Our winner moved to the UK to make a life for their young family and really impressed their teachers by, by being able to speak four languages. The student is highly motivated, enthusiastic, very supportive and helpful towards others um, and apparently really gets stuck in at every opportunity, relishes working at high um, and will, according to their teachers, fit into the wind industry extremely well. The student continues to visit and to update on their progress and according to the teachers brings cakes and that makes them very welcome. The nomination um, for this student said that they would be an excellent mentor to future cohorts, sharing their experiences on and after the course. Our winner is Daniel Pavlov. Pavlov. <laughs> Our student of the year for maritime studies was one of the earliest students um, enrolled for the maritime course and instantly displayed leadership qualities by offering to be a course representative and interacting with the faculty on behalf of the class. The student has shown an exemplary attitude, conduct as well as been a mentor for other course mates. The student's diligence and ability um, are evidence for their exceptionally good results obtained in their exams. And they're universally liked by staff as well as peers, behaving politely and gracefully. Apparently, there's a quality that are desired to be an officer for the Merchant Navy. This student's knowledge, skill and ability are exceptional. Um, and in all, them, all in the Maritime Department wish our winner success and hope to hear good things in the future. Our winner is Balkaran Singh, nominated by the Maritime <laughs> Team. Our most improved student of the year nomination. I'm going to go straight in with the winner here for this category, as this student has also been a winner in another category as I've just uh, announced. So congratulations immediately to Harry Conway, nomina nominated by Laura Precious and Holly Chase. What a year it's been to you, Harry. <laughs> Our Governor's High Achiever Award, um, our winner has been described as a very bright and able student, able to solve problems extremely well, having fantastic practical skills and gaining distinctions in practical tests. This student has been described as having a fantastic attitude towards their studies, um, has great communication skills and is a really popular member of the group. This student has demonstrated excellent practical and peer support skills also, for those that are in the group that actually need support to do their best. The teachers described our winner as the top five learners they've ever taught. This is starting to feel familiar. Our winner is William Neesham, nominated by Brick Tutors, Philip Carter and Stephen Hallgarth. <laughs> our final award this evening goes to the Principal's Wellbeing Award. Um, our winner is a student ambassador um, and has been so for the past two years and has successfully campaigned and been elected as the disability officer for the student union. This student is very proactive in supporting and promoting wellbeing events from campus, compiling lists of disability profiles and attending meetings. The student's mum was diagnosed with cancer at the beginning of the academic year, which proved very challenging for, for both the student and her mum. However, our winner supported her mum by shaving off her hair um, prior to chemotherapy and donating the hair to Ollie's Heroes. This student donated to the Christmas stocking campaign and gave up her lunches and breaks to fill their stockings in readiness for their distribution. The student is a member of our Human Library series and put together a PowerPoint presentation around Down syndrome. They delivered this to groups of students across campus helping to raise awareness and the driving force behind, behind Rock Your Socks, a campaign for Down Syndrome Awareness Day. Our winner is currently working towards obtaining a Youth Health Champion Award um, at home. It's organised by the Community Alcohol Partnership and plans to use the skills learned to support others in college. This student was described to her by her nominators as an amazing ambassador, a role model, a brilliant disability officer and human being always ready to help others and take part in college events and social action 
Education Project. A pleasure to know this remarkable young person. Our winner is Amy Beth, nominated by Maria Watson and Tiff Ward. We've had so many nominations that we wanted to actually share all of those with you so we can celebrate with you as well as our winners. So please take a moment to, um, to have a look, to find your name and to, uh, in that celebration we share. Just a final thought for the evening. I just want to say thank you very much to, to everybody who has joined us. And again, congratulations to all of the winners and those who were nominated. Uh, this speaks absolute volumes really of the, of the number of students that um, we've celebrated with across the whole week, as Stuart mentioned at the beginning of the week. Um, we have uh, an amazing number of students at ECC and Lurse of Sixth Form, and it really speaks of the brilliant relationships that we have with our um, staff who are so enthusiastic about making these nominations and celebrating their success in all the fine examples that we've seen this evening. So thank you again to all of the families, friends, employers, and our community who have all, um, all, all have a hand in supporting our students to do their best and make our college what it is. Have a wonderful summer. And if you're starting your next adventure, please keep in touch with us. And if you're returning to college, we look forward to seeing you in September. Good evening, everybody. <laughs>